All right, so I think I'm doing this right, and I, th well, on multiple uh, fronts, to be honest with you. All right, so I think I'm going to mount an attack on Stanislaw. I've moved some of the, uh, the troops around here. Now, here's the kicker for me, was the fact it w I was going to try to mount the attack in here anyways, and I was like, okay, do I want to put in some supply points here? Because I had five supply points for the, for the third army over here. And I was going to go uh, try to mount, and I'm still going to try to mount the attack um, uh, across the Boog River Bridge. That being said, I was like, am I like, so I've, I've been so focused on the Boog River Bridge and so on and so forth that I have, I'm kind of, I'm not saying completely, but I've, I'm letting my, perhaps my heart rule my head a bit in the sense that I think Stanislaw is a much more important target uh objective to take before the um, the December truce, as far as I'm concerned. We, we would have control of Stanislaw, if that's possible. Um, Brusilov is here. Uh, he's uh, uh, stuck in here with the 3rd Rifles Brigade. I just went and took a look. And uh, the, uh, the Stanislaw Opelchany Brigade. So, um, because I was looking into the rules, and I was like, okay, this is going to be interesting here. Um... So I did move. I did move uh, the, uh, what I could, uh, second army wise. Uh, there is. It is going to be a, co a combined command attack in the sense that uh, the second army direct over here, uh, bomber Moly, is going to. Uh, uh, let's see who these guys are. I wrote. I wrote everybody down. Um, but uh, what it comes down to is, um, it's an interesting quirk about the rules, and I, I probably have been not doing the rules properly, uh, well, often. But this one specifically, you'll see in a, uh, in a minute here. I don't need the pencil. I'm just going to put that off to the side. So who's here? And I'll tell you what's going to happen. So uh, number four over there, it's uh, the, um, the 22nd Infantry Division. And then over here, uh, number 34 is the 35th Infantry Division. And over here is a bunch of guys. I got the 39th uh, Infantry Division, the 13th Hotzendorf Infantry Division, and the 33rd Infantry Division. So I did decide it. I said, screw this. Um, I brought in, I railed over three uh, supply points. One, uh, one over here to uh, Bomber Moly uh, for, uh, to, to uh, supply these guys here. And uh, the 6th Corps by uh, Von Opavar over here is going to uh, do the rest. There's 13 strength points in total. Damn it, it's going to suck when you see what's hap uh, when I show you the strength points over here in a minute. So that's uh, 12 in total because I, I rounded down for the, the leftover dude there, the 13th that I'm leaving unsupplied is useless. So we're going in with 12 strength points. Now here's the thing. And that's why I was like, okay, I'm glad I went and reread the rules because I'm sure I'm doing this wrong. So if you see Stanislaw here, it's broken terrain. There's no urban hex sides uh, whatsoever, okay? And that's going to be an important thing because I've been misreading the rules. And it's, uh, it's a bit odd in a sense. And then there's the city center. You can see what I mean by a bit odd in a sense. So I'm going to pop in the strength points there. I'm going to remove the, uh, the combat thing. We'll just put it off to the side, I guess, here. And I will pop his uh, strength points in. So the uh, um, Brusilov and the Eighth Army HQ there have got um, three strength points sitting there. Like I said, the Third Rifles Brigade and the um, the Stanislaw Opelchany Brigade. All right. So the way I had been playing it, I assumed that it was almost like a fortress in the sense that he never had, uh, didn't retreat. And here's the thing that I got wrong was that uh, he had to chop, uh, the attackers had to chop their uh, attacking strength points in half because they were uh, going across, or uh, they were fighting an urban train. That's not the case. Um, but there's a weird wrinkle in the sense. So I'm going to read it out quick. Uh, just so that way you guys can uh, get the idea here, but uh, it's it's two things. That's the uh, the thing here. So it says um, uh, the the deten the defender can choose which type of terrain is to be used for purposes of influencing the combat. Now um, it says here the defender can only opt to use urban terrain to influence the combat if the hex under attack contains any single urban terrain terrain, hexite, and the city center. 
Stanislaw only has a city center, so he can't use, or if the hex contains two or more, so it doesn't matter. So I can't use, I can't uh, chop the, the Austro-Hungarian's combat factor in half and get a plus three and all this stuff to my diet, no. But if I go on over here to retreat bits, it says units are never required to retreat from a hex that contains a city, the city center, not just an urban hex side, or a port, or if urban terrain is chosen by the defender. So, uh, although, which I find odd, I can't, uh, Brusilov and the, uh, and the rest and his, and his gang there, can't use the city center uh, for defensible, uh, defense purposes, but I don't have to retreat. Uh, I can whittle myself down to nothing if I want. Now there's the kicker, which sucks. Because there's, it's impossible for um, the Austro-Hungarians to uh, inflict three, uh, three hits. We can do two hits, and that's why I brought it up to, uh, uh, to 12 um, strength points. I thought for sure that. So and I get minus one to the die roll. They get not, uh, they get, uh, uh, they're all right. So if you see here on the 12, I can't possibly do it. I would have had to bring it up to like about 14 or 15. Um, and uh, that's prohibitive uh, just through the fact I would well maybe I could could have but no I would have had to do some weird uh, stuff but that so I'm just got to go with it here we'll see what we can see what happens um, of course I'm hoping that uh, we can at least uh, inflict two hits but the way I'm probably going to play it you know, is that Brusilov is not going to um, Oh, darn it, I even had this side, well, I still have the, the narrative bit there for, I can't remember way back when is that uh, uh, Bomber Moly here uh, got, uh, I'm sorry, he essentially got his ass kicked by uh, Brusilov, uh, that he was basically had nothing left of his second army. I ended up sending him as a desk job in Shemesh, uh, basically just uh, reallocating reinforcements and whatnot until I was able to kind of hobble together and reconstitute some kind of second army for him. And uh, because I needed the uh, the command structure on over, that's basically so I, you know I brought him out there, and that's one uh, that was after the Katowice conference agreement and whatnot when uh, I got Brayevich on over here. But I mean, you don't think it's a bit of a payback kind of thing? It's like I was thinking, I was like, oh my god, if he can take Stanislav from Brusilov and maybe even like get him as a prisoner, and oh my god, it would be great. I don't, that's not going to happen. Uh, but uh, let's see how much damage we can do. Uh, odds are they're just going to be hanging on by a thread. And, and it'll still be a, a, an interesting narrative come uh, January 1915. Because, uh, you know, it, odds are the Russians will have control of Stanislav. But the uh, Austro-Hungarians will be all over the place. We'll see. Um, here we go. All right. So, like I said, it's minus one to the die roll. And the... Um... So it's a four uh, down to a three. And what does a 3 do on a 12? Uh, wow, it gets two hits. So, um, uh, and um, I'm not obviously, uh, uh, Brusilov does not want to retreat, so I'm going to assume that the 3rd Rifles Brigade are annihilated. They get they get destroyed, and then I'm going to leave the uh, Stanislaw Opelchany Brigade intact, uh, which means now they get to try to fight back, but... Uh, What's the point with three, three strength points? I can't do anything. I can't, um, there's no, uh, Brusilov has no, um, um, no, um, uh, no supply. So uh, it's, no, uh, there's nothing I can do. Um, okay, let's see here. I've got three strength points. So my, uh, I now get uh, chopped in half, but then tripled. Uh, so one half times uh, three. I'm not the I'm not the sharpest tool in this shed. So hold on here. Not by a long shot. 0.5 times three. There. 1.5. Ain't gonna happen. Uh, so uh, or two. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh well, I guess I guess it could on a six. I can roll. A, roll a six. Uh, they take one. They'll take one point of damage. So maybe I should shush. And it's a six. So oh, there you go. Um, so like I said, I'll probably get uh, the sixth core, somebody in the sixth core, since they have a lot of uh, whatevers. And that's that. Um, uh, Brusilov will be down to one strength point there, just the little Opel, uh, the Stanislaw Opelchany Brigade. And that's that. Um, 
he'll stick it out. Oh, geez, I thought for sure, man, that uh, uh, they were gonna push uh, uh, push Brusilov out of there. The stubborn bastard. All right, see you later.